Welcome to our new 13-month calendar. The first page is a little bit of an explanation about what's going on here. It talks about how the Earth goes around the Sun and we can see different constellations at different times of the year depending on where we are in our travel around the Sun. It talks about the seasons and how they work, how the Earth is tilted on a little bit of an angle as it travels around the Sun and that's why in the Northern and Southern Hemisphere we experience different seasons. And then it talks about the procession of the equinox when the uh, vernal equinox happens and we measure what constellation is directly behind the sun from the earth, the sun, and the constellation behind the sun. So it's the dawning of the age of Aquarius. There's Aquarius. We're coming out of the age of Pisces. That's the procession of the equinox. Here's a picture from an app on the computer. There's many different apps you can get for your smartphone or your computer that show what the stars look like at any time of the year. This picture is shown on the first day of this calendar, or even day zero is what I'm going to call it. On day zero, the sun here is in Sagittarius. The moon over here is between Leo and Virgo. There's a woman called Ruth Stout. She did some research figuring out uh, things about how to grow plants uh, based on the moon and where it is uh, in relationship to these constellations, which we'll talk about later. This calendar starts on... December 21st, that's the Gregorian calendar date. Well, on this calendar, that's day zero. And I started doing this calendar in 2012 when people were talking about it's the end of the world. I think what they were actually talking about was that it's the end of the age of Pisces. And they were also talking about it's the end of the great year. So apparently a great year is when we go through all of these ages and each age takes over 2,000 years. 2,000 years, 2,000 years, till we get all the way around. I made a spreadsheet to explain it a little bit better. And a great year turns out to be 25,920 days. Divide that by 12. So each age is about 2,160 years. So this is a 13-month calendar. That means there's 13 months. And each month is... 28 days exactly, 7 days by 4 days. I've put the moons on this calendar, the new moon, the first quarter moon, the second quarter moon or the full moon, and the third quarter moon, which isn't on this month. Now, not all of the moon phases are going to be shown in each month because one full moon phase takes 29 and a quarter days. There's only 28 days here. So, for example, watch the new watch the full moon as it travels like a cartoon does or a flip book from one side of the calendar to the other. Next time I turn the page, it's gonna be here or here. That's 29 and a quarter days later. Again, next time it's gonna be there or there. And now it's at the end of the page. Next time I flip it, it's not gonna show up on the next month, but it is gonna show up 29 days later on the next month right around here or here. And there you have the new moon. So I've got at the top of the calendar is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, blah, 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 blah. And I've also used colors, seven colors of the rainbow. You can download this uh, and change the marketing that I've put here using LibreOffice, which is a, an open source program that you can get for free. Here at the top of the calendar, you can put any art that you want. I've got a repetition of this notes I've made, Cultivation by the Moon. These are uh, notes from Ruth Stout. I learned at the Linnea Farm uh, gardening program. So here it talks about 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes for the moon to do a complete uh, phase from first quarter to second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter, back to new moon. Here's a new moon. This calendar shows what kind of 
cultivation things we can be doing 